Hello students. Today let us learn a problem on U chart. So here they have given a table with number of leaks in 10 lot radiators of 100 each. So the number of lots they have given that is 10. So M is equals to 10 and they have given N value that is the sample size N is equals to 100. So they are asking us now to compute the process average and trial control limit for U and to draw the control chart and to give our conclusion from the control chart and if there are any recommended values or process average for process average and control limit we have to suggest those values for future so now first of all solution lot size n is 100 which is constant first of all they are asking us to compute the process average for which we have to find the fraction effective so in this point the first one is computation of fraction defect u for each lot so we have u is equals to c by n so for the first sample first sample u1 is equals to c1 by n1 that is 15 by n1 is 100 which is constant for all the samples all the lots 0.15 u2 is equals to c2 by n2 that is 17 divided by 100 that is 0.17 u3 is equals to so here it is 12 12 divided by 100 that is 0.12 so for all the 10 defectives we will write the fraction defective u so 0.15 0 0.17 0 0.12 0 0.16 0 0.14 0 0.05 0 0.14 0 0.11 0 0.09 and 0 0.10 so now the computation of the process average so the process average that is we have u bar is equals to sigma of c divided by sigma of n so that is nothing but sigma of c divided by n into m so this is the number of defects the sigma of c is given as when you add up all these 10 number of defectives we will get 123 so 123 divided by 100 into what is the lot size lot size is 10 so the answer is 0 0.123 so u bar that is the process average is 0 0.123 now the calculation of the control limits we have control limit for u is equals to u bar plus or minus 3 into root of u bar by n so for the upper control limit of u we have u bar is u bar plus 3 into root of u bar by n so we can write it as 0 0.123 plus 3 into root of 
zero point one two three divided by hundred. So the value of upper control limit is zero point one two three plus zero point one zero five. So it will give us zero point two two eight. Now for the lower control limit of u, we have u bar minus three into root of u bar divided by n. So we can write zero point one two three minus three into root of zero point one two three divided by hundred. So that is zero point one two three minus zero point one zero five. So we will get a value of zero point zero one eight. So the lower control limit for u chart is 0 0.108 so now when we have all the values of the u bar that is the process average and the upper and lower control limit we can plot the graph so for the here on the x axis we are taking the lot number x axis and on the y axis we are taking the u values so these are the u values so when we plot the graph for the first lot we find that the u value is or fraction defect u value is 0 0.15 so i have marked it here the fraction defect values which we have found with the help of calculation now for the second one it is 0 0.17 which is somewhere here. Now for the third one, it is 0 0.12, which is here. This is 12, 0 0.12. For the fourth value, it is 0 0.16. And for fifth one, it is 0 0.14. For sixth, it is 0 0.05, which is here. For the seventh one, it is 0 0.14, so which is marked here. For the eighth lot, it is 0 0.11, which is here. For the ninth, it is 0 0.09, and for the tenth, it is 0 0.10, which is marked here. So, after we have finished the marking, now let me mark the upper control limit value, which is 0 0.228. So let us consider it as 0 0.22, so which is marked here. So upper control limit is 0 0.22. Now we can see the lower control limit is 0 0.18, so which will lie somewhere. So the lower control limit is 0 0.018. So we can see that all the values of u are lying within the upper control limit and the lower control limit and that is why this process is under statistical control and the process average and the control limit values which are recommended for future are these values itself. So they will not change. So we conclude saying processes under statistical control so this is all about the u chart problem i hope you have understood the problem thank you